If I had jumped in the lake this morning, I wouldn't have gotten any more wet than I did on the boat ride today. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian. If you're watching Angling Anarchy, we're on Lake St. Clair. Lake St. Clair in a 17 foot aluminum boat can be not fun. And we found out about that on a 17 mile run this morning. But we made it. I'm fishing with my buddy Nathan up in the front of the boat there. Uh, we've been out here fishing with Captain Mark Kornoski. Uh, if you're looking for a guide out here, he's a fantastic one. I'll leave his uh, particulars in the description below. But uh, yeah, we are out on uh, some big water chucking medusas and uh, we're gonna see if we can't get one of these big Lake St. Clair muskies to cooperate and uh, have a look at it. All right folks we're uh, both throwing a ball liquor collar. Don't ask me why it's named that. I don't want to talk about it. Anyway uh, we're both throwing uh, these regular sized medusas on 2020 assault stick moabs. I've got the nine foot, Nate's got the new nine six and it's working pretty slick for him. 500 tranks for both of us. And I'm running Finn's big game pro XS 100 pound braid. Pretty awesome stuff. So that is what we're using out here on lovely Lake St. Clair today. Let's see if we can get a muskie. Get rid of it. Okay. Nice dude. Just throw it on or Not a St. Clair giant, but at least it's fish. Yeah, we'll take it for right now. Alright, well, that's terrible lighting. Um, that's uh, action from two fish pretty quick, so we're gonna get back to casting. Yeah, because that first fish you had was in this clear water. Yep. And I think so with his, the one that he lost. Yeah. Do you take off? Keep going just in case. Throw it on a waypoint when you get a chance to. How big? Not as big as I thought when I first saw him coming. Sure, he was, sure. He was probably 42, 44. Oh, nice fish. Yeah. Did you see him miss? Yeah. Oh, dude, he almost had it. Yeah. He tried real hard. All right. Well, Okay, so you do throw it on a waypoint? Dude, if we could get, I mean. Put one on that one too. Yeah. Here we go. Are 
you kidding me? He's right there, man. He took a couple nips at too. Yeah, I, I was just trying to get him ramped up and he just wouldn't quite commit. Wasn't a huge fish, but. Yeah. Hey, my little doohickus worked. Fish. He's out there. Oh, he just came off. Oh, dude, he hit it right at the end. Right at the end. Are you kidding me? Feel good? Yeah, I felt decent. God, that sucks. It looked like your rod loaded up pretty good, like you got good screws to it. Yeah, yeah. God dang it. What the f is going on? Fish. You want to do it up there? Whatever you need me to do. Okay. There we go, dude. I, I wonder if he was batting it, dude, because I could not figure out what the hell was going on. Yep, yep. All right, well, we've uh, managed to lose a couple, but we finally popped one here. It's not huge, but it is way down there. <laughs> oh. There's a lot of room in that net for a fish to get away from you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was a lot of work for that little guy. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got? He's 38. Okay. <laughs> 38 and wants to pop all over the place. So, we'll just take him up here. And send him on his way. Let him hang out for a little bit. I think he kept batting at that bait out there because for the life of me, I couldn't figure out what was going on with it and he finally hit, so. All right, let's get back to it. They're biting. All right, ladies and gents. A little mid-afternoon update. Um, it has slowed down fairly significantly from this morning, although we did just raise two fish. Um, we've contacted 10 so far. Caught two, lost two, had two that should have eaten but didn't quite and then we've seen four others i guess uh if that math adds up so um 
everything has been on that ball of hair color so they're definitely looking for a little bit of orange uh, it seems and I have started throwing actually um, downsized to a mid medusa with a little uh, size 8 blade on the front um, just for something different I can rip it straight retrieve it kind of fish it like a bucktail do something a little bit different um, so yeah I had a follow that almost ate lost one and had one eat so even though Nate is contacting a few more fish with the pull paws of the Medusa um, I've uh, gotten some fish to really go nuts on that thing so we're just gonna keep doing that because it seems to be working um, we've got a major starting in like two minutes so I'm gonna get back to casting and uh, hopefully we can get one of these things to go oh here we go here we go Man, that was a good fish too. Yeah, came up that. Yep, that top corner. He gave up on it. Man, that was a nice one. Oh, interested in the goofy little dozer blade dusa. Man, come on. Fish down there, fish, fish. Oh yeah, he's ramping up. I just happened to see him down in that corner there. Uh, well folks, uh, remember at the beginning of this video when I said I'd be drier if I would just jump in the lake uh, than the boat ride we had this morning? The same is going to be true, whoa, the sun's bad that way, same is going to be true of this afternoon. It doesn't look bad, but uh, believe me, in a 17-foot aluminum boat, 17 miles, going perpendicular to the waves across Lake St. Clair is not going to be fun. And that's what we have to do. Um, we put two fish in the boat today, saw 11. Uh, really wish we could have capitalized on some of those other hits that we had, but such as musky fishing, I suppose. I uh, want to give a big thanks to Captain Mark Kornoski, Troublemaker Fishing Charters, uh, for putting us on some fish the last couple days and sort of showing us around. So you should look him up if you want to come out here and fish. I'll leave his particulars in the description below. Uh, yeah, I, we're going to go get wet. So just all there is to it. I appreciate every single one of you watching this mess, and I'll see you in the next video.